If you like a leg burner, then this workout is most definitely for you. I've put together six of my favorite lower body exercises. All you need for today's workout is a chair alongside your dumbbells. Make sure you've warmed up using one of the warm up videos, and I'll see you in a moment. As mentioned in my intro, there are six lower body exercises today. We are going to go straight in with the front squat and complete three sets of 15 reps. For the front squat, you want your feet just a little bit wider than your hips. We're going to position the dumbbells on our shoulders, down into that squat, drive up through your heels, squeeze your glutes. The alternative is to use one dumbbell and hold it here. Okay, let's pick the dumbbells up. We've got three sets of 15. This is set one. Off we go. One, so let your hips go first. Knees in line with your toes. Two, drive up through your heels. Squeeze your glutes. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three more, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Quick rest, and we're going to go again for set two. We don't need the chair until exercise five and six. Go. Set two. Pick your dumbbells up. Off we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Come on, squeeze those glutes. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, five more. Eleven. Twelve, three more. Last one. Squeeze. <laughs> Drop the dumbbells. One more set to go. Ooh. Get your heart rate up, doesn't it? After we've done set three, we're going to go into the next exercise, which is RDLs. Here we go, set three. Off we go, guys, when you're ready. It's five. Ten, five more. Last one. Good, quick rest guys. Grab a drink if you wish. Okay, so the RDL. Position your feet just under your hips. Shoulders up, back and down. Soft knees, we're gonna push the hips back, okay? Push the hips back, we're gonna feel the tension in the hamstrings and the glutes. And we're gonna drive up, keeping the tension here in your glutes. Head nice and neutral, we don't want the head up or to the side. That was a bit spooky, wasn't it? <laughs> push the hips back, keep the dumbbells nice and close. What we don't want to do is swing the dumbbells out here. Keep them nice and close, push back until you feel that stretch in your hamstrings you want to come up. Okay, three times ten. It's three sets of ten. So feet just under your hips, shoulders back and down. So we don't want rounded shoulders. Shoulders back and down. Off we go. Push back. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Keep that tension. Six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop your dumbbells, quick rest. So there's no alternative for this, you should all be able to do these. Just be mindful when you get to the top that we don't push our hips forward too far that we then go into that lower back. So when we drive up, just lock the hips, squeeze the glutes, and then back down, okay? Set two, let's go. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Three more. Come on. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Ooh. Feeling the burn on these. <laughs> you should be feeling it here and here, guys. shouldn't be feeling it in your lower back. Make sure your shoulders up, back and down, okay? Last set, are we ready? Off we go, push the hips back. Keep squeezing your glutes. Halfway. Three more. Last one. Drop the dumbbells. <laughs> okay, next up. I didn't tell you what was next, did I? Kept you guessing. Next up, we've got sumo squat. So, sumo squat is a wide squat, and you're working that inner thigh. So, a nice wide stance for the sumo. I mean, you can go as wide as you like, really. Um, you can use two dumbbells or one. You can use the one dumbbell and you're going to hold it here. Knees towards your toes as you come down into that squat and then drive up. Everyone else, we're going to use two dumbbells. So a nice wide stance. If you can, you're going to hold the dumbbells here. Knees go towards your toes and then drive up. You should feel that your glutes and your inner thigh. We have got three sets of 15. Of course we have. When you're ready guys, get into position. Shoulders back and down, core nice and tight. Off we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five more. Drop the weights. Oh. <laughs> Shake that out a bit. <laughs> That's set one complete. We've got two more to go. Love a sumo squat. I used to love a sumo deadlift, but that's well and truly gone now. Right, when you're ready, <laughs> pick the dumbbells up, get into your position, shoulders up, back and down, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, 
five more. Two more, come on. Oh. You don't have to go really wide on those to feel that to your inner thigh. Okay, quick rest before we go to set three. And then I'm gonna tell you what's coming up next, which are following after sumo squats nicely, the lateral lunge, you're gonna love them. <laughs> okay, set three, sumo, let's go. Shoulders back and up, down, down. <laughs> Core nice and tight, off we go. Really squeeze those glutes. Five more, come on. Two left, last two. Last one, squeeze. Ooh. Put them down. I'm gonna grab a quick drink, guys, before we go into those lateral lunges. Thirsty work, they were, weren't they? Okay, so once we've done the lateral lunges, we're gonna be using the chair, okay? So for the lateral lunges, I don't know why I just moved them out of the way, because I need to show you with the dumbbell, but do the alternative first. So for the lateral lunge, you want a nice wide stance, like you were for your sumo. You can go wider if you want to. Now, you can hold one dumbbell, here or you can hold it here however you feel comfortable and you're going to lean over to the side keeping this leg straight this knee is bent and you're sinking to that hip and up to the center and back down again so the alternative is to use one dumbbell so we're going to do three sets of eight on each leg everyone else we're going to have the dumbbells positioned on our shoulders okay so, when you're ready, doesn't matter which side you start, you're gonna complete both sides. So when you're ready, off we go. Sink into those hips as you go into that side, and up, one. Keep the other leg straight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, over to the other side, Ooh. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Drop the dumbbells. Oh, starting to feel it now, aren't we, guys? You're gonna love what's coming up next, I'll tell you in a moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have to do lunges. You need to work the legs individually. Right. Are we ready? Set two. Come on. Of course we are. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Over to the other side.
Last one. Sorry guys, you've got one more set of those. And then after those, something even more delightful, you've got Bulgarian split squats. Knees in the chair. Okay, quick rest. Take longer if you need to. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Not jumping around, are we? No. Don't need to jump around. Get that heart rate up. Let's go. Come on. Last set. Then you've just got two more exercises to go. And your workout is complete. Off we go. Four. My face. Five. Six. Last one. Oh, over to the other side. Lifting's not glamorous, guys. It's not what you see on Instagram. Come on. Last one, come on. Oh, drop the weights. Ooh, I need a drink. And you guys should do too. Okay, two more exercises to go. You've completed four. And next up is those Bulgarian split squats that sound yeah, they sound nice. And we'll give an alternative, okay? So, for the Bulgarian split squat, you can use your chair, your sofa, the edge of your bed. Now, to get into the stance, I would sit on the edge of your chair, one foot out in front, and you're gonna lift up, and then elevate your foot onto the chair. Down and up. The more forward-facing you are, the more glute focused the exercise is. So if you want to lean forward, you're going to focus more on your glutes. Now, if you don't want to use an elevation for your foot, if that scares you, some people don't like to, then you can do static lunges and you can keep it here. So you feel like your feet are firmly on the ground. Okay, we've got eight on each leg. So when you're ready, guys, pick your weights up. Doesn't matter which leg you start on because uh, you're gonna do both legs, okay? So this is how I find my way doing the lunges, how I find my stance, okay? When you're ready guys, lean forward if you want to to feel it more in your glutes. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, change over. So put your foot next to the foot that you've just done, and then elevate that foot onto your chair. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Woo! Lovely. Two more sets of those. I don't actually mind them. I don't mind them. Ooh. So obviously you're working the leg out in front, not the leg elevated, just so you know. Okay. Are we ready for set two, guys? Come on. Just get ready. Get your feet into position. When you're ready, off we go. One, two, three. Keep that toe firmly down. Five, 
six, seven, eight. Change over. When you're ready. Five, six, seven, eight. Feeling the burn, feeling the burn. One more set to go. And we're gonna end this session today with hip thrusts. Okay. Let me get breath. Keeping it real, guys. I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> okay, last set. Come on, let's get these over with, shall we? Although I don't mind these. Take your time. When you're ready. Five, six, seven, last one, eight. Change over, come on. Last leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sweat dripping down my face. <laughs> you see? Okay. Last exercise, but I need a drink first. Hip thrusts, using your chair. I will give an alternative. Okay, so we're just gonna use one dumbbell for the hip thrust. And you want your head and shoulders on the edge of the chair, okay? So, get positioned with your head and shoulders on the edge of the chair. A little bit of shimmering around on the chair. So, you want your feet just under your knees. You don't want them back too far and you don't want them out too far. So, you just want them just under your knees. Nice straight line. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop them hips, not too far, then we're gonna drive up, squeeze your glutes as we go down and up, down and up. Now, some of you might struggle with being on the chair and to find that like you just can't get on with that, which is absolutely fine. So you can do these on the floor. Just bring your feet in towards your bottom. So you still got that nice straight line there. Back nice and flat, guys, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up onto your shoulders and then keep your hips high. So you're gonna do glute bridges on the floor instead. Okay, I haven't told you how many you're doing. Three sets of 15 reps. The sweat on my chair, lovely. See, I'm working hard, guys. See, I'm working hard. Right, get into position. Okay, you see why I don't use a chair very often and do these very often. It's a little bit of a challenge, but I'm trying to think of what you guys have got at home. So make sure everything's into position. Shoulders are on the chair. Okay, when you're ready, drop those hips and then drive up, squeeze your glutes. One, two, three. Really squeeze, four. Five, so we're pausing at the top, yeah? Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen, last one. Oh, squeeze. Ooh. Two more sets of those to go. See me trying to get off the chair. See why I don't do these very often. <laughs> okay. 
So we're using the chair because we're just trying to find things that you would be using at home. I would normally use a bench or a step for this, but that's not something that you might have at home. So that's what we're trying to do here, guys. Right, two more sets to go. I should have stayed down there really, shouldn't I? Okay, just gotta watch me get on and off again now. Here we go. <laughs> get on that chair. Get your head and shoulders on. Okay, feet into position. OMW. You want to keep your chin tucked in as well. If you can, drop those hips and drive up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, last one, 15, I'm going to stay here, I'm going to stay here for the last set, <laughs> it's just too much getting up and down, I'm absolutely melting. Who else is melting? Or is it just me? <laughs> okay guys, last set and your workout is complete. My legs are shaking, who else is shaking? Right, okay, get into position guys, drop those hips and drive up. One, two, three. Really squeeze your glutes, come on. There's no point doing it if you're not doing it properly. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Come on, thirteen, fourteen. Last one. Squeeze. Fifteen. Ooh. Up you come with jelly legs. Great workout today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that leg burner. Six of my favorite lower body exercises. Make sure you cool down afterwards and I'll see you on the next one.